नमस्ते हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया माई नेम इज मनीषा सिंह टूडे आई एम टीचिंग यू ऑस्मोटिक डिहाइड्रेशन इन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फूड प्रिजर्वेशन टेक्नोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक वॉट इज ऑस्मोटिक डिहाइड्रेशन इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ वॉटर रिमूवल बाय द इमर्जन ऑफ वॉटर कंटेनिंग सेलुलर सॉलिड इन अ कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एक्वा सोल्यूशन ऑस्मोटिक डिहाइड्रेशन हैज बिन रिकोगनाइज एज अ गुड प्री ट्रीटमेंट प्रायर टू रेगुलर ड्राइंग ऑस्मोटिक डिहाइड्रेशन हैज द पोटेंशियल टू रिमूव द वॉटर एट लोअर टेम्परेचर्स and it is an energy efficient method as water goes does not go through a phase change it gives a rise to three types of simultaneous counter current flow water diffusion into the solution solute diffusion into the food and leaching out of the products own solutes then what is the difference uh in why we go for the osmotic dehydration in dehydration the sensorial properties are affected but in osmotic dehydration sensorial properties are not affected they are very good and then dehydration loss of flavor is good uh, is very high and retention osmotic dehydration retention of fresh fruit flavor is good then there is a huge nutrients loss in dehydration whereas there is a retention of nutrients in osmotic dehydration and chance of physical contamination is more in dehydration rather than uh, osmotic dehydration hence for improved quality and ready to eat products osmo dehydration is the best choice then osmosis is basically the factors affecting osmotic dehydration are the type of osmotic agent concentration of the osmotic solution time of treatment and temperature of the osmotic solution size and geometry of the material solution to material mass ratio and level of agitation of the solution then concentration of the osmotic solution high concentrations of solutions and long osmotic times increase the penetration depth of osmotic agents and decrease the moisture content of the samples time of treatment is the rate of both moisture loss and solid gains is the highest for first 2 hour followed by progressively lower rates for the rest of the time rapid loss of water in the beginning is due to the large osmotic driving force between the fresh fruit and the surrounding hypertonic solution then temperature of the osmotic solution is higher process temperatures promote faster moisture loss through better mass transfer characteristics on the surface due to the lower viscosity of the osmotic medium however above 45 degrees celsius enzymatic browning and flavor deterioration begins to take place and the best processing temperature depends on type of food for example green beans 20 degrees celsius gives better results while 40 degrees celsius is too high at temperature size and geometry of the material the surface area to volume ratio has been shown to the influencing factors with higher ratios favoring better osmotic dehydration rate solution to material mass ratio as the solution to uh, sample ratio increased the osmosis rate increased up to a certain level and then level of the weight ratio of solution to product of most often used is between 4 and 10 uh, then level of agitation of the solution the osmotic dehydration is faster when syrup is agitated and this is because of reduced mass transfer resistance at the surface then enhancement of osmotic dehydration application of microwave during osmotic dehydration and application of vacuum as a pre treatment application of blanching as a pre treatment and application of high hydrostatic pressure as a pre treatment will enhance the osmotic dehydration then application of ultrasound in osmotic dehydration Os uh, ultrasound can travel through a solid medium through therefore it can influence mass transfer a phenomenon known as acoustic cavitation is generated during the application as ultrasonic waves can generate minute vapor filled vapor bubbles that collapse rapidly or generate voids in liquids subsequently rapid pressure fluctuations are induced within the wet material by the ultrasonic waves and application of microwave during osmotic dehydration material absorbing microwave energy directly and internally and converting it into the heat moisture outflux effectiveness of the microwaves in immersion mode is reduced due to the resistance of medium itself for absorption of microwaves the spray mode uses a thin layer of osmotic solution that is continuously flushed down and this eliminates the problem of sample floating the application of blanching as a pre treatment hot water or steam blanching is pre treatment before osmotic dehydration with the purpose of enzyme inactivation to promote gas removal from 
surfaces and in intercellular spaces prevention of oxidation and uh, discoloration and of flavor development and microbial growth water blanching is 85 to 100 degree celsius usually results in loss of nutrients such as minerals and vitamins advantages of uh, osmotic dehydration is quality improvement in terms of color flavor and texture lower energy requirement packaging and distribution cost reduction retention of nutrients during storage and this provides better retention of volatile flavors and reduces tissue damage compared with conventional air and sun drying processes then disadvantages the reduction in acidity level reduces the characteristic taste of some products this can overcome by adding fruit acid in the solution sugar coating is not desirable in some products and quick rinsing in water may be necessary after treatment osmotic dehydration with other combined processes such as vacuum drying air drying or blanching were found expensive and it is a time taking process hope you all are satisfied with this session this session is powered by digital version 2.0 jyoti vidyapeeth women's university jaipur if you have any query please mention it in a comment box i will resolve them whenever we have a live session Thank you so much for watching this video.